To learn the bracket, start with very little speed. Start with very, very little speed and see if you can go from an outside to an inside and then gradually increase your speed. And also it helps to, uh, okay, so if I'm gonna do this bracket, I just wanna practice gliding in that position with that full twist. And on the second side, I'm gonna be twisted this way. So I can practice gliding to feel that position, the second side position. And then if I practice both of those positions, I just need to connect them together with the, the actual bracket. So, ba, ba, da. Yeah. Yeah, so full twist. Now, uh, yeah, so you, you have to point your toe, whether it's an inside or an outside bracket. If it's going forward, you have to point your toe to keep it on the ice halfway through the turn at the top of the turn if you want to practice your bracket you can start with very little speed like i've said uh, you can also jump the turn uh, just to practice it i mean ultimately you're not going to get points for your brackets if you jump them but you can just to maintain the lean you can jump the turn ba, ba, da. see how i keep the lean by jumping the turn. From here, full twist, and bada. It's very easy to do a, bra a jumped bracket, and so then gradually you can get rid of the jump. Um, is there anything else I missed as far as uh, covering the bracket turn, Ryoko? What's the, why people change the eggs before the turn? Uh, people change the edge before the turn to make it easier. They, they do an actual three turn. Most skaters do a three turn instead of a bracket. Like I mentioned, they, they start like, let's say on a circle here, and instead of staying on the circle, they go inside the circle, do a three turn and then get back onto the circle. Now I exaggerated what most skaters don't go inside the circle that much, but they do go inside the circle, do a three turn, and then get back onto the the proper curve again. So, um, yeah, we want to avoid those flats or the curve that goes the wrong way when we do our brackets. Okay, so, and uh, oh, oh yes, one more thing I didn't mention about the brackets is we do need to point the toe for forward turns, but for back turns, we want to flex more because for a, black, a back turn, a back bracket, which we don't see as much back, skaters doing back brackets, we don't tend to see as much, but we want to flip over the heel. Flip over the heel, so you need to flex the foot to go over the heel to do a proper turn backwards. Okay, good luck with your brackets. Uh, technical specialists, uh, maybe pay a little closer attention. A good technical specialist should be able to tell what a proper true bracket is. And I think technical specialists should become a little bit more uh, vigilant at not allowing improper brackets, credit for improper brackets and that will raise the uh, standard of the sport and that will make it so that difficult turns like brackets actually are difficult turns. Okay, and uh, I don't know, maybe it could also be up to judges to reduce the grade of execution in step sequences where the brackets aren't proper brackets. <laughs> but really it should be the technical specialist that, that says, no, that's not a bracket. Yeah, you go in on the right edge, you come out on the right edge, but to actually do the turn itself, you're doing a three turn. Okay, enough. Bye.